Egzamin maturalny z języka angielskiego. Poziom podstawowy. Usłyszysz dwukrotnie teksty do zadań od pierwszego do trzeciego. Przed wysłuchaniem każdego tekstu usłyszysz dźwięk. W nagraniu przewidziane są przerwy na zapoznanie się z poleceniami oraz treścią zadań sygnalizowane dźwiękiem. Rozwiązuj poszczególne zadania w trakcie słuchania nagrań oraz w czasie przerw po ich wysłuchaniu. Zadanie pierwsze. Przeczytaj polecenie i zapoznaj się z treścią zadania. The official Doctor Who festival starts in London on Saturday. I'm so excited that I'll be there. I'm going to watch the filming of one of the episodes. I'd also like to buy some film gadgets at their store. Aren't you coming, John? Not this time. The tickets are expensive and I'm saving money for the first four seasons of the Doctor Who series on DVD. They're going to cost a fortune, just like the electronic gadgets I bought last year. Oh, you bought some, really? Sure, I'm a real fan. And don't forget your camera. I took a few photos of my favourite actors last year. Many of them come to the event every year. Wow, I didn't know that taking pictures was allowed. I was surprised too. You can also talk to them if you are lucky. We also got the chance to see how monsters are created. Then we were invited to design some of them for the next series. The filmmakers didn't think much of my project, so I didn't get a prize. Maybe you'll get one this year. Oh no, not me. I'm terrible at drawing. But I hope to win the title of the biggest fan. This year there'll be a Doctor Who quiz. I've been preparing for it for months, learning all the facts and details about the characters and events in different episodes. I'll keep my fingers crossed. You know what? Let's revise together before you go to London. That's a great idea. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. The official Doctor Who festival starts in London on Saturday. I'm so excited that I'll be there. I'm going to watch the filming of one of the episodes. I'd also like to buy some film gadgets at their store. Aren't you coming, John? Not this time. The tickets are expensive and I'm saving money for the first four seasons of the Doctor Who series on DVD. They're going to cost a fortune, just like the electronic gadgets I bought last year. Oh, you bought some, really? Sure, I'm a real fan. And don't forget your camera. I took a few photos of my favourite actors last year. Many of them come to the event every year. Wow, I didn't know that taking pictures was allowed. I was surprised too. You can also talk to them if you are lucky. We also got the chance to see how monsters are created. Then we were invited to design some of them for the next series. The filmmakers didn't think much of my project, so I didn't get a prize. Maybe you'll get one this year. Oh no, not me. I'm terrible at drawing. But I hope to win the title of the biggest fan. This year there'll be a Doctor Who quiz. I've been preparing for it for months learning all the facts and details about the characters and events in different episodes. I'll keep my fingers crossed. You know what? Let's revise together before you go to London. That's a great idea. Zadanie drugie. 
Przeczytaj polecenie i zapoznaj się z treścią zadania. One. I'm sure you have at least one customer service experience to describe. That moment when you either wanted to scream in anger or shout for joy over the type of service you received when you were doing your daily shopping. Well, we want our listeners to describe the best and worst experiences that they've been through. I'm sure you'll find today's topic interesting, so dial our number and share your stories with us. Two. One day I was looking for a game in one of those large stores and found an empty place on the shelf where the game had been. I asked an employee walking past if he could help, and he promised to go in the back and look for the game. I was asked to wait for a moment. After ten minutes, as he still hadn't returned, I stopped another employee. He said that his colleague had gone home. Unbelievable! I'll never go to that store again. Three. Hannah, I've just read on the internet that experts have announced a blacklist of unreliable companies, and the firm we've ordered our cosmetics from is there. When you get the package, throw away its contents immediately. The cosmetics might be dangerous. I think I already have an allergic reaction to one of the creams I got yesterday. Four, Josh Renouf has created a gadget that every tech and coffee enthusiast dreams about. It's an elegantly designed machine which serves as both an alarm clock and a coffee maker. Who doesn't like to wake up to a fresh cup of coffee every morning? The machine isn't on the market yet, but if you email us, we will let you know when it will be available in our online shop. The first five buyers will get a discount, so hurry up. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. One. I'm sure you have at least one customer service experience to describe. That moment when you either wanted to scream in anger or shout for joy over the type of service you received when you were doing your daily shopping. Well, we want our listeners to describe the best and worst experiences that they've been through. I'm sure you'll find today's topic interesting, so dial our number and share your stories with us. Two. One day I was looking for a game in one of those large stores and found an empty place on the shelf where the game had been. I asked an employee walking past if he could help, and he promised to go in the back and look for the game. I was asked to wait for a moment. After ten minutes, as he still hadn't returned, I stopped another employee. He said that his colleague had gone home. Unbelievable! I'll never go to that store again. Three. Hannah, I've just read on the internet. That experts have announced a blacklist of unreliable companies, and the firm we've ordered our cosmetics from is there. When you get the package, throw away its contents immediately. The cosmetics might be dangerous. I think I already have an allergic reaction to one of the creams I got yesterday. Four. 
4. Josh Renouf has created a gadget that every tech and coffee enthusiast dreams about. It's an elegantly designed machine which serves as both an alarm clock and a coffee maker. Who doesn't like to wake up to a fresh cup of coffee every morning? The machine isn't on the market yet, but if you email us, we will let you know when it will be available in our online shop. The first five buyers will get a discount, so hurry up. Zadanie trzecie. Przeczytaj polecenie i zapoznaj się z treścią zadania. One. Hello. With me today is Martin Cooper, the inventor of the mobile phone. Martin, what was a mobile phone like in 1973? It was big and heavy. It weighed 1.5 kilos. Can you imagine? Its battery ran down after 35 minutes, and it took about 10 hours to charge up. Unbelievable. That was probably why people didn't rush to buy the first model. No, the real reason why its sales were low was that only the richest people could afford it. That would be like buying a small car these days. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Hello. With me today is Martin Cooper the inventor of the mobile phone. Martin, what was a mobile phone like in 1973? It was big and heavy. It weighed 1.5 kilos. Can you imagine? Its battery ran down after 35 minutes, and it took about 10 hours to charge up. Unbelievable. That was probably why people didn't rush to buy the first model. No, the real reason why its sales were low was that only the richest people could afford it. That would be like buying a small car these days. Two. You wanted my opinion, Tom. To my mind, it hardly makes any difference which suit you wear when you attend your job interview. Black, navy blue or grey. Anybody who's sitting on the interview panel will be interested in the skills you have. The colour of your clothes is of less importance. They want to choose the right person for the job. Trust me, I've been to many job interviews in lots of companies and I know what counts. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. You wanted my opinion, Tom. To my mind, it hardly makes any difference which suit you wear when you attend your job interview. Black, navy blue or grey. Anybody who's sitting on the interview panel will be interested in the skills you have. The colour of your clothes is of less importance. They want to choose the right person for the job. Trust me. I've been to many job interviews in lots of companies and I know what counts. Three. Would you like to do some climbing? If the answer is yes, then come to our wall climbing centre. 
our professional instructors can take you from your first step off the ground to climbing real rocks. If you join us, you'll practice in a group of five people. We provide climbing accessories such as ropes, helmets and other safety stuff. All you'll need to buy for classes are rock climbing shoes, a tight lycra t-shirt and comfortable trousers. To start, register for a free trial lesson. Sign up now and have fun. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Would you like to do some climbing? If the answer is yes, then come to our wall climbing center. Our professional instructors can take you from your first step off the ground to climbing real rocks. If you join us, you'll practice in a group of five people. We provide climbing accessories such as ropes, helmets and other safety stuff. All you'll need to buy for classes are rock climbing shoes, a tight lycra t-shirt and comfortable trousers. To start, register for a free trial lesson. Sign up now and have fun. Four. Anne, I don't understand why you were so angry when I mentioned the board game day organized in our local library on Saturday. You know I'm a fan of board games, so I don't want to miss it. Anne, I know you find it childish, but people of different ages play board games now. I'd love to go there with you, but if you think it's a waste of time, you don't have to join me. But you promised me we would have a meal in that new Italian restaurant on the corner. And we will. The event finishes at 4pm, so I will be back in time to have dinner out. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Anne. I don't understand why you were so angry when I mentioned the board game day organized in our local library on Saturday. You know I'm a fan of board games, so I don't want to miss it. Anne, I know you find it childish, but people of different ages play board games now. I'd love to go there with you, but if you think it's a waste of time, you don't have to join me. But you promised me we would have a meal in that new Italian restaurant on the corner. And we will. The event finishes at 4 p.m., so I will be back in time to have dinner out. Five. A part-time worker named Luke was working at a supermarket. As part of his duties, he was dressed as a giant banana. Suddenly, the shoplifting alarm went off. Luke didn't have time to take off his costume. He just raced after the thief across the shop in his two-metre-tall banana costume. The criminal was running out to the car park when a giant banana appeared out of nowhere, stopped him and called the police. Luke said the thief looked very surprised. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. A part-time worker named Luke was working at a supermarket. As part of his duties, he was dressed as a giant banana. Suddenly, the shoplifting alarm went off. Luke didn't have time to take off his costume. He just raced after the thief across the shop in his two-metre-tall banana costume. The criminal was running out to the car park when a giant banana appeared out of nowhere, stopped him and called the police. Luke said the thief looked very surprised. Six. Hi, good to see you. We'll bring Rusty in a moment. Great. I can't wait to take him home. 
I see you love dogs, don't you? Yes. I was going to buy one for my kids, but when I saw the internet photos of the dogs in your shelter, I decided to take one home. Great decision. The kids will be happy, and it won't cost you a penny. And one more thing the dog has already been examined by the vet, so you don't have to worry. Thank you. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Hi, good to see you. We'll bring Rusty in a moment. Great. I can't wait to take him home. I see you love dogs, don't you? Yes. I was going to buy one for my kids, but when I saw the internet photos of the dogs in your shelter, I decided to take one home. Great decision. The kids will be happy, and it won't cost you a penny. And one more thing the dog has already been examined by the vet. So you don't have to worry. Thank you. Czas przeznaczony na tę część egzaminu minął.